up, YouTube family? It's your brother, Russell Mack, and this is Solomon's Vineyard. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day. I do realize you can be doing a million different things, so the fact that you are here today, it really, really uh, makes me very proud, and I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much. Oh, y'all, I'm so happy today. I had a great day. I'm hoping that you have, are having a great day. And if you're not, just keep walking. You're going, it's going to get better, I promise you. Welcome. All right, if you're new, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Hit the bell icon and you will get a notification to your feed, letting you know that I'm on the air. All right? Don't forget, hit the bell icon. You're going to have a, a bean like that. Thumbs up and like the video. Plus, you can comment in the thread below. What's your scent of the day? If you want to tell me, I'd love to know what you're rocking. All right, me. Um, let's see, before I get into the fragrance, uh, shout out to Julio Ayala. I finally talked to him, and he seems to be doing very well. Um, so thank you, Julio, for hitting me up, my brother, this morning. <clears throat> I'll be getting your package out to you real soon between to, uh, tomorrow uh, or, and the day after. Plus, uh, thank all of you who tuned in last night for Back in the Day with Fat Boy, where we talked about Tupac's, one of his great, well, in fact, his last album before he was killed, uh, All Eyes on Me. Okay, thank you. So, the housekeeping's out the way. Let's get into, into this fragrance. My scent of the day. Um, I think this morning uh, I was rocking something else, but now, right now, I'm rocking this one. And this is Ursa by Tiziana Terenzi. Came out in 2015. This is an amber uh, woody fragrance. And I'm going to also add spice, spicy to it, also, okay? I did a little research. Um, on the fragrance and the house and uh, Tiziana makes bottles she was nominated for a prize uh, I think uh, the Fifi award uh, around uh, 2012 for her gold bottle caps um, they are really into the art um, the nose behind this fragrance is um, P-A-O-P-A -uh, I think it's P -A -O -P -A, huh P-A-O-L-O, Pialo. Pialo Terenzi, okay? And he got degrees in music, um, law, and psychology. Plus, he's studying chemistry. So, th this is a, uh, a, a, a well-recognized house. He's a well-recognized perfumer. So, so, I'm really looking forward to smelling this fragrance let's get on into it and uh, guys if you have not smelled Ursa I wouldn't sleep on it get your hands on it okay I'm putting the bottle in the notes up no alcohol okay you got notes of dry fruit and rum with LMI nutmeg that's at the top in the heart you got the truly and leather with incense and vetiver and then you have oud um, some tobacco and vanilla this is my kind of fragrance wow thank you Tyrone again from bro sense for sending me this uh, decant man you got a big heart and I really appreciate it and guys I told you I was getting into more niche fragrances and I wanted to take my time, you know. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in comp competition with nobody. I'm not trying to go and grab and buy a, a up and coming new fragrance just because the whole crack calm is talking about it. No, I, I'm gonna talk about it according to my pocket, okay? And when I'm ready to talk about it. So I may be a little late because this is a five, six year old fragrance, but God dog it, it is beautiful. I love it. Now, if you don't like oud, because this does have an oud note, you do smell it in the opening, but you get the dry fruit, okay? You get the booziness from the rum, the, some spicy elements. You get an incense note, that tobacco, a dry tobacco. It smells like a, a expensive tobacco. 
It smells like a, a Cuban cigar tobacco that I have smelled. Uh, I can't remember the name of the, the cigar I, I was smoking, but I do smoke pipes and I do smoke uh, cigars on occasion. It's been a while, but I've smoked a cigar that smells similar to this. It has a dry fruit smell, just like this does. It opens up with a beautiful dry fruit and that stays around for about an hour. You, you're gonna smell the fruitiness, the booziness, the tobacco and oud for a while. You get that throughout the whole fragrance. Now, it's not a linear fragrance. It does change up on your skin. You do get the earthy qualities from the bur from the leather, the leather and vetiver, if you will. You, it's, it's a little smoky, not, not the kind of smoke that's in, um, what could I say? What fragrance can I think of? Uh, by the fireplace, it's not that kind of smoke, but it is a smoky quality. But you get this LMI, which gives you kind of a pine, smell because it's a resin all right you get that vanilla note the incense this is just the perfect fragrance now i trying to think of something i can you know uh, describe it something that smells like and i can't think of anything at the present moment i'm sure it smells like something though but you get basically in this fragrance the the dry fruit you get the, the earthiness, the greenness, because this fragrance was inspired by the Como, uh, the Como River. And it, it's a, I looked it up and it's, a, it's in a basin surrounded by mountains and hills and jungle and forest ground, as far as the eyes can see. So I get it, you get the greenness, the earthiness, you get the woodiness from it. The tobacco and rum and oud, oh man, it's blended so well. And this is my scent of the day. And I, I, you know, I wouldn't wear it in the heat, but if you are in a controlled environment, if it's cool outside, winter, fall, spring, you definitely could rock this. And I've heard so much about it, so didn't know he was gonna put this in the box, but he did, and it is now my favorite. Now, I, I, I've gotten Sweet Taboo, I got some um, by BDK, but out of all of the ones I've smelled thus far, this is the one that I got to have. I'm definitely giving a full bottle. Uh, Fragrance X Habit for those of you that's interested for $159. And if you got auto pay, you can use that and get it right now. You feel me? Or try um, a sample. Sample it first, and, or either hit Fat Boy up, okay? Ursa by Tiziana Terenzi, and I love it. Now, as it begins to dry down, you get more of the incense, the, the tobacco and leather. Um, the fruitiness dries up, and you get some rum and vanilla. Uh, and that's basically what you get from the fragrance. Definitely elegant, something you would want to save for when you dress up, when you go into something formal, or if you're going to be uh, outside with the guys, and you're going out and you're gonna be out, outdoors, this will be a great fragrance to rock. Very classy, though it's a unisex fragrance, I, I would recommend this more for men. Oh my God, I love it, polarizing. It creates a lovable, intoxicating scent trail. You can tell that this is a high quality fragrance and that's what I love about niche fragrances. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my cheapies. And sometimes you can find cheap fragrances that perform better, smell better than niche. But when you get into niche, you get into some complexity. So it's definitely a complex fragrance and it's definitely one that you would have to love to wear. Man, it does have an edgy quality. It's edgy, dark, and deep, and sensual. Now you get the oud, the tobacco, the rum throughout the entire fragrance. So if you like oud, the skankiness of oud, and, and tobacco, ruggedness of leather, oh man, it's smoky. You get that, you got that green, earthy vetiver uh, feel in this fragrance. The spice it is from the nutmeg. Oh my 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 my. Yeah, give this a try. Now this is my first time trying it to date, and right now I'm loving what I'm smelling. Yeah, I'm really into this house. I'm really into um, 
some Zerzhoffs I've been, I have been smelling. I'm really into the Ani, Ani by Nishane. Yeah, y'all look for more niche videos like this coming uh, coming up, but we gonna always have our cheapies. <laughs> and we gonna always have our high-end designer fragrances. So yeah, that's my take on it, guys. Um, Ursa by Tiziana Terenzi. Listen, get your nose on it and tell me what you think. Have you tried it? And when you tried it, what was your experience on it, okay? Um, that's it, guys. I'm getting out of here. That's my preview for the day. I hope I wasn't too long. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon for another Frag Preview. God bless you all. Peace, fam. All right, all right, all right. Okay.